Alrighty, so I'm in the middle of doing the time, parallel time video. I want to kind of recap Tallahassee. So, spiritual high intensity field training. So we're going to talk about the field because there's a certain time limit, just like with any game. And there's certain rules, just like with any game. In Tallahassee, what happens on the field during that time is what's considered the game. If you score a touchdown after the score is over, it doesn't count. If you score a touchdown, not on the field, it doesn't count. It has to be within the lines and during the time. Kind of like life. What we do is during a certain time in this field, right? We are part of the field, we're on the field, right? So I'm using that as an example because during that game in Tallahassee, there were ups and downs because Florida State looked like it was going to lose and Miami was going to win. And Miami was ecstatic, right? The Miami fans around us. And it was an up and down, it was a roller coaster. Those were real emotions for a fake game. And a lot of people were invested in quote unquote winning. But they knew it was a game. They knew it only existed in this realm of 100 yards and during that time. But it was real to them, real emotions. Same thing here. The reality that we're in is, is a game, if you will. But the question is who makes the rules? And are the rules fair? When you really look at what's going on here, are the rules made by us? Or are they made by other people? Is the game to allow us to maximize what we can on this field? Or are they limiting us? I look at the teams, for instance. Um, let's say there's a team of 1% and a team of 99%. The team of the 99% has the majority. But we run the same play. And we just get hammered every time. Because we run the same play. We don't question the playbook. They gave us the playbook. And they're winning on this planet. Let's expand the field out to this whole reality. But we're the creative ones. We have the ability to change the play, do something different, change the script. And that's part of what the shift is, changing the playbook. On the field, there are people that have a higher perspective. You can look at them as offensive coordinators. They can see the game from a higher perspective and they come down on the field and they say, hey, we can run a different play. You know, we're running the same play and it's not working. Let's run a different play. And that's part of the shift, running a different play. When you really look at the people that are in control of this reality, they're not creative. They have to use our creative energy to create the reality that they want versus the reality that we want. Because we're co-creators. A lot of the stuff that we're seeing is predictive programming where unconsciously we're creating our own prisons, if you will. But we can use that same creativity to create our own freedom. And that's what we're in the process of doing. So just using the game as example in the field. All right, peace.